My name is Kevin Wood and this is part two of setting up your Shopify website for dropshipping by Global Crafts. In part one, we uploaded our product uh, file feed into Shopify so that we now have our products created. So, and we did a little bit on the theme, including adding a logo and start the start of a slideshow. Uh, part two, we're going to look at navigation and uh, finishing off that slideshow. Okay, so let's have a look at our Shopify site. Okay, as you can see now, our products have installed. And if I refresh this page, you'll see that I already have some navigation created because navigation is probably the longest part of creating a Shopify site. It takes, it has to be done manually. There's no, unfortunately, no way to import a CSV file of navigation. But we're going to show you how to create some specific navigation um, for the uh, geography, geographical areas of the world, so Africa, Asia, and the Americas. We're also going to complete, build out this featured products section, um, and we'll link these slideshows into the new collections that we create. So let's go back to our Shopify admin panel. So we'll, first of all, let's look at Africa. So we want to create a collection of products and we want to create a collection for Africa. So we're going to click add collection and we're going to give it the title Africa. I'm not going to give it a description, but um, certainly for SEO terms, you should either give it a description here or you should edit the website SEO description down here. Okay, I, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm not going to do that, but it's well worth spending some time on that for Google. Okay, so we're going to base our criteria. We're going to do an automatically select products so that any new products that get added to the website that meet the same conditions will automatically get added to this collection. And we're going to use the uh, producer part of the product descriptions. Each of our product descriptions has a producer name on the end of it, so that's going to help us really determine where that producer is from. So we're going to put product title or contains, and then we're going to start off with some producer names. So for example, any product that has Jadendo in it is from um, Kenya. And it would help if I could spell Jadendo. There we go. Okay, we're going to add another condition. Any part of our product title that contains um, Esther, as in a banana fiber artist, Esther Karaoke. We're going to put in there, add another condition. Um, let's have a look for another one. Let's do any part of our product that contains Tonga, which is a textile producer in Zimbabwe. And we can keep going on this. Now we need to make sure it doesn't say all conditions, otherwise the product has to have all of these three things in. So let's click any condition and let's save that. And it will show us at the bottom of the page, it will populate the products that it thinks go into that category. And this certainly isn't an exhaustive list of our African producers. And on our dropshippingbyglobalcrafts.com website, there is a document that you can download, which explains how we've categorized some of the products. So you can at least see the list of producers. And obviously within the products, each producer has a description. So you should be able to work out the geography of those producers. So we're going to save that for now. Now it's important to note that if we go back and have a look at our store, that that doesn't really actually go anywhere. Okay. I mean, it just because we create a category does not mean that it suddenly becomes active in the website. So let's go back to our themes and let's make some navigation for that category. So we want to create a new drop down menu that is based on geography. So let's call it um, by country. And at the moment we're just dealing with Africa, but we could have a sub menu of that that was Kenya, Zimbabwe, whatever. So let's uh, start off with the, the header menu called Africa and let's build uh, that into a collection. 
So the link name is going to be Africa. It's going to link to a collection and the collection name is going to be Africa. I'm going to save that. Okay. Now still that, that is not going to appear anywhere unless we will build by country into the menu. This is our main menu. So let's add it to there. So Shaman, let's put by country and that is going to link to well, it's going to effectively create a dynamic link to the by country menu, but we do need it to link to something. So we're going to leave it at storefront for now. I'm going to move that up so that it's under the general category one, and I'm going to change shop online to buy category. That makes more sense now that I'm giving them multiple options. Okay. So let's uh, quickly go into our themes and see what that has done to us. You can see now here that we now have by category and by country. By category has lost its submenu, so we've got to fix that, and that's because we changed the name of the navigation. But by country does work, and it does come down to an Africa, and when we click it, it brings up those products that we saw in the preview. So let's go back and fix the navigation and show you why the, the shop online part is now broken. So the shop online submenu is here. The main link was this by category, which originally linked to was shop online and linked to shop online here. So we need to edit this one. We could either change the entire title, but it's really only this handle that matters. So let's just change that to by category. You can't see it on the front of the website, it's not, it, but it's the system now knows to tie that in to the other main link by category. So hopefully, when we go back and look at our theme, we're going to now find that the by category, yeah, you guys got a drop down menu. Okay, so we've we've fixed that menu and we've created this one. Okay, so let's now create a sub menu for. Africa called Kenya and obviously we're not going to complete all this online that'd be incredibly boring but once you've got the uh, idea of what we're doing here you'll be able to build out the rest yourself so we're going to go to collections and we're going to create one called Kenya and within Kenya we want any condition product title contains and in this case we'll go Esther is in Kenya as is Jadando, as is Jadando, and we're going to save that. And again, we'd normally want to build in some SEO, etc., etc. So let's go to navigation now. Go into navigation and let's create. We want what we want to do at this point is we want to create a sub menu of Africa. So let's add a link list and call it Africa. And that will create the connection between the main menu and the sub menu. The sub menu here, our first entry is Kenya. And our collection is Kenya. Okay, and we're going to save the link list. Okay, automatically at this point now, when we go to our themes and have a look at this website, in the design aspect, you'll see that by country, Africa, Kenya. I click on that, we get down to Kenya. Okay. And obviously, to be complete, we'd do Africa, Asia, and Americas, and then we'd have the sub menus. So Kenya, Zimbabwe, South Africa, etc., etc. You'd have to do a bit of research to work out which ones are which, but uh, if you want a country geographical menu, that's the way to build it. This is built on exactly the same principle. And there is a guide in the global crafts in the dropshipping by globalcrafts.com that shows you how we built out this primary by category menu. Now, what I'm going to do now is I want to make this this slide work. So we've got three slides here. Okay, I'm only going to worry about the first one for now because once we've done one, you can do the rest. So we're going to show you how to link that to the Africa section. So I'm going to go back to here, and what I want to do is I want to work out what the link on that is going to be, and I can see by looking at the bottom left-hand side of my screen that when I hang over it, it's collections slash 
Africa. So on my home page, I come down to my theme, my slideshow here, and I want to put here collections slash whips Africa. And if I save that, then in theory, if I got it right, when I click on this slide, it will now take me off to the Africa collections, and it did. Okay. So, what about these featured products? How do we make that work? Okay, so the featured products are coming. If we go to the top of here, we can see that it says there's no uh, collection list, which would be categories along here. We can build out categories here if we want. We've said no at this point. But we do have this home page product collection called Featured Products. So let's go and put something in that collection. So I'm going to go to Products, Collections, and I'm going to look for that collection called Featured. Yeah, it's taking a little bit of time, but there we go. Featured products. And you can see there's only one product in it at the moment. I can add products by just searching for them here. Any products I want, I can type them in here. I can look for them, look for particular ones here, or I can search for them just by scrolling. Okay, so I'm just going to add a few, but you can add up to 48 products on your home page. Now I've got them in rows of four, so let's add two more just for the sake of uh, balance. Doesn't matter what two. Okay, if I wanted to delete any, I could just click the crosses. I've got these set up as alphabetical at the moment, but if I want to, I can change that to manual. And once it's in manual form, I can pick things up and I can drop them wherever I want and click save. Okay, let's have a look now at what our home page looks like. And if we go in here, we can see that now our home page has some featured products on it. Starting to look more like a website. We've got nice categories. We've actually got a little bit too much across here. I don't really see the need for home. Um, quite frankly, most people know to click that. So there's two ways we could beat that to get that cart back up here. One is we could change the size of this text, and that's going to be in typology. And if I go to... Um, the main menu font face, I can take it from being 18 to say 12 and that's way too small. <laughs> seems like a big difference between 18 and 12, so let's try that. There we go, that seems to fit nicely. Or what I, else I could do, if I wanted to make some more, I could remove the home. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into navigation and we're going to do two things. We're going to remove the home and I'm also going to create a, a set of four featured collections so that we can put them in on the home page. We can use this home page collection list option. Okay, and it's going to be four of them because that's what we want to feature. So let's go back to here. Let's go to navigation. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete this home option off the main menu. Edit list, home delete, save. That will fix that home link. We'll check it out in a little bit, make sure it's right. But the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a link list and I'm going to create it for, I think I'm going to stick with the theme of geography, uh, but it could be by product, well, let's stick with product category at the moment because we haven't got it. We'd have to create the collections otherwise. So let's do, um, Let's call this um, Featured Collections. And let's do the first, let's do some brands. So let's do Artisana, which is a collection. And it's the Artisana brand. And we're going to call it Artisana Jewelry. Give it a bit, bit of a better description. Save. Let's add another one. Well, let's add my four first and decide what we're going to put in it, and then I'll worry about what we call it. So let's call this, uh, let's look for Tilly. Stick with some of the jewelry lines. So Tilly glass. And let's pick another one. Let's do brass. Sticking with the jewelry theme, I'm going to do brass images. 
and sticking with the jewelry theme, let's do um, nat let's do the fair collection, which I think is listed under natural. Nope, not finding it. Okay, uh, let's do world finds. No results. Okay, let's uh, just scour through these. Let's let's go. Let's move to Cambodian, which is uh, bomb case jewelry. Okay, let's save those, and then let's have a look at what we've successfully done here. First thing is I've got to link my home page. I've got to tell it to actually have a collection there. So we're going to do Featured Collections and click Save. You'll see that the home has disappeared off here quite successfully. And here you can see our four featured collections. And you can, you can set specific images. So if you want lifestyle images here, you can take an image of somebody wearing the jewelry or whatever, and you can upload it at, at that collection level. Okay, so if we wanted to change the image, for example, on the Artisana jewelry here, we would go back to our Artisana collection, products, collections, Artisana, whoops, Artisana, and then we would basically upload an image to here um, that we'd have to find on our, have on our computer somewhere. I can I know that you can't see me scouring through my image directories, but uh, believe me, I am. Um, and in here somewhere we can find a different image. Let's, um, let me give it, well, just for the sake of demonstration, let me give it an image of a ring. So we've swapped it to that ring, and then we're going to click Save here. And you will see when we go back to our store front that now we have an image of a ring there representing the Artisana jewelry collection rather than the default image that it decided to show us. Okay, looking good. So that's basically how we create our navigation. That's how we link our slides into collections that we've created how using the home page feature here we can determine what content's going to go on the home page including down here we've got this blog content that we've included at the moment we're going to talk more about blog content later on um, uh, yep so we're going to talk more about blog content I think that's the end of this particular part of the video and pick us up with another video about uh, other aspects of the website but you now have a functioning website that once you set up payment processing and shipping and taxes would work and is actually quite a nice looking website thanks